In this episode, Chef Scott and I learn how poor boy bread is made with Jason Gendusa, owner of the 100-year-old John Gendusa Bakery here in New Orleans. Gendusa Bakery, John Gendusa, 1922. Jason's great-grandfather started this business, the original poor boy bread in New Orleans. Now, you hear me say poor boy because I say it correctly. Was given to the strikers. Jason's great great grandfather decided he's going to open up a poor boy bakery. The secret ingredient <laughs> to poor boy bread in New Orleans, it's the water. Because we know that other people have tried to make French bread in other cities, including Jason's father, John Gendusa, and it didn't work. So we've got 100 pounds of flour. Now, how many loaves of French bread will this make? About 200. This is called a protection grate, which protects idiots like me from putting my hands in there. This is the beginning of French bread. When we do brioche bread, it's a completely different process because we have the flour, but we we use the yeast and heated milk to 120 degrees to get the yeast to activate outside of the mixer. Yeah, that'd be either. Right. Well, I mean, you can actually feel it through the different, when it first comes on high speed, yeah. you can actually still feel that, that coolness from the ice. Right. And after a few minutes of it whipping around that bowl, you can, you can feel the heat. So man, this is coming together good. How many loaves of French bread do you do per week? You know, we do about 2,000 during the week, three to 4,000 on the weekends. 10,000 10 to 12,000. All right, well, now we're just going to... Oh, I know. Um, it doesn't feel anything like brioche. Really in there, huh? I like food. Say it again. Food. Let's see your ear off. You want to take that out of yeah, there? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Make it yeah. feel like Shaquille O'Neal. Then we head over to the line where the machine cuts, balls, and rolls the dough. This is this will be one pool boy coming out of here. That's freaking cool, man. This chain will actually roll it up. It'll run through this pressure board and come out around 12 inches long. And then it'll you know run back through another proofer to relax, give it more time to be no handled and stretched. This really is fast. I had no idea all of this went into your Let it take its time, let that moisture get up in the air, you know, really keep that bread good. Gives it that airy inside and that, that moisture on the outside when it goes in that oven to you know form that hard shell. We're going to stretch these out to 36 inches, right, James? Correct. Okay. Kind of hang there, right? I think mine's shorter than yours. Right. It's harder than it looks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on now. There, I got okay. it. It's going to be fat on the ends now. <laughs> these are going to Katie's, right? Yes, yeah, special delivery. <laughs> special <tomorrow>. delivery. <laughs> that yeah, pretty good? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he said he'll go back and fix it for us. <laughs> we can fix them up. Yours, yours are actually a little better than Mike's. So. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> New Orleans style French bread. So that little... that hot? His French bread is the best because it's crispy on the outside and so soft on the inside. We seriously need roast beef gravy. Mm -hmm. 